Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to explain to you how I make my covers and how you can make covers at home. But first, I just want to say I'm not endorsed by anyone, I'm not being paid to talk about any of the products I'm going to talk about. I just have what I have in here because I have it. There are six steps that you need to follow to make a drum cover. I've tried to make this as easy as possible. Step one, find a song. Obviously, I can't tell you how to find a song, you just find a song you like. I'm always getting questions about how I get around copyright and stuff. The answer is, I don't know. 99% of the covers I do get flagged for copyright, but the only restriction that is put on them is that I can't monetize them. Quite often, my covers don't get fully blocked, but occasionally they do. For example, I did a cover of the song Feels three years ago or something, and even when I upload it now, it still gets blocked, which is kind of annoying, because it was a good cover. <laughs> However, if it does get blocked, there are a few things you can do to try and get around it. For example, making the song that you are covering really low in the mix and your drums louder so that it's hidden a little bit. That's how I got around my Car Radio 21 Pilots cover, which was blocked for a while. Or you can try and change the pitch of the song. That works sometimes. I try to avoid doing that. In fact, I never do it just because it never sounds good. I also get a lot of questions about where I get backing tracks from and drumless version of songs and the answer is I don't, I just use the original song but I just make my drums louder. Step 2. Learn the song. This step is kind of obvious, you need to learn the song you're going to cover before you can cover it. Step 3. Set up for recording. This is going to be talking about the audio side of things in particular. Now there are many ways you can record the audio of your drums. If you want to get the best results, I suggest investing in some mics and an audio interface and then you can record your drums into a DAW of your choice. I use Logic Pro X but quite often the audio that your phone or your camera that you use picks up works fine just as long as you don't position it really close to the drums because then it'll just be a loud mess of sound. <laughs> I'll put some footage here of what my phone picked up when I was recording my latest drum cover. For my covers, I use the Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 first generation as my audio interface. It has eight inputs and does the job fine. And I use the Shure PGD MK6, which is essentially just a set of mics put together for drummers. It includes two condensers, three tom mics and a bass drum mic. And that is the same setup that I've been using since I started making covers in this room six years ago. Although in the last year or two I have added an extra SM57 on the snare. I'm not going to go into detail about what mics you should be using, where you should be putting them and all that because honestly I don't feel qualified enough for that. I just kind of guess not gonna lie. So if you want to know more details about that, there's so many videos on YouTube about mics for your drums, how to mic drums, drums and mics and mics and drums. Mic? <laughs> Also, just a little tip, when you're getting the audio for your cover, it's best if you listen to the song in your headphones, earphones, in-ears, whatever you use, just so you can get drums only. It will make it sound so much better. Step four, filming your cover. For my covers, I use three cameras. I use the GoPro Hero 4, the GoPro Hero 5, and the GoPro Hero 6. But honestly, any camera will probably work fine. In fact, even probably your phone camera will do a good job. And here's a fun fact for you. In the very first cover I did, I used the camera on my brother's laptop. And then when I moved into this room, I used my phone and my iPad. And then when I started to get more serious about doing drum covers, I invested in some better cameras. So, not sure what the point of that story is. In terms of placing your camera, I suggest just thinking about from an audience point of view and setting it at an angle that you would want to see if you were watching the cover. For example, if you have one camera, try and get the whole drum kit in because nine times out of 10, people are more interested in the drums rather than your face, unless you're really hot, I guess. <laughs> Step five, editing. 
I would say there are two ways of editing your cover depending on how you filmed it. The first way is if you use your camera to record the video and the audio of your cover. In this scenario it's probably best to edit the video first in terms of cutting the footage down to where you want the video to start and where you want the video to end. Once you've done that you need to add the backing track that you played along to. This is often just a simple drag and drop and lining up the song to the video. I'm pretty sure you will be able to do this in most free editing softwares. The second way of editing is if you recorded the audio separate to the video which is what I do. In this situation I would start with the audio first. My covers I do in one take so the audio side of things doesn't take too long because I don't have any comping to do because I just go with whatever I got in that one take. So yeah once you've made sure the audio is fine and the contrast of your drums to the backing track is fine then import it into your video editing software of choice. I use Final Cut Pro to edit all my videos so editing the video is actually quite straightforward if you use one camera you can just cut it from the start to the end and you don't need to worry about anything else if you use more than one for example in my case I use three cameras what I tend to do after I've imported the audio into my project I then line up all three cameras so that it's all in sync with the music. I then watch the video through and cut where I want the cameras to change. Then I will go through again and select which angle I want when. I tend to do a section at a time, so I'll do the intro first and then edit that, and then the verse, edit that, chorus, edit that. That way it can all be consistent together rather than going through and doing the whole thing at once because quite often doing it that way, I'll find that I don't like one particular section which then means I have to re-edit most of the video, which is a pain. Step six, uploading. Yay, we're nearly done. So in this part, we're gonna talk about specifically uploading it to YouTube. The actual uploading process is pretty simple. So when you open up YouTube, if you look in the top right, there's like a little video icon. If you click on that, it'll then say upload video and take you to the uploading page. And then it's quite straightforward. You can either drag your file into that box or you can click select a file. And then all that's left to do is to think of a title for your drum cover, which can literally just be the name of the song and the band. And then you need to make a description. This is a good place to put any social media you have or just to talk about the cover or why you chose the song or just talk about anything you want. Then you need to choose a thumbnail for your video. YouTube will actually give you a choice of a few thumbnails that you can choose from, but you can also upload your own thumbnail that you've made in a photo editing app or if you've just got it on your camera roll. How I make my thumbnails is that I just take a screenshot from the video and then add the title of the song and that's it. Then when you're happy with everything, just post. Yay, you've done a drum cover. <laughs> That's a really simple way of doing a drum cover. I haven't gone that much into detail because otherwise this video would be really long. So if you have any questions or you need some help, just comment down below or DM me on Instagram or whatever. I'm also gonna put a link in the description to my Amazon page where it has a list of the products that I use to make my drum covers, even though a lot of them are discontinued now. <laughs> Also, if you already upload drum covers or any covers and you want some feedback, just link your videos in the description or again, send me a private message on whatever social media you like and I will try and watch as many as I can and try and help you out. In terms of getting lots of views and things, maybe I'll make another video about this topic, but the short answer is there is no formula, at least I don't think there is. Okay, having a good thumbnail helps, having a good title helps, but really Really, it just comes down to luck and I hate to be that person but it really does. The YouTube algorithm is a complicated thing. Getting on people's recommended pages and whatever isn't as easy as, oh yeah, this is how you do it. So yeah, if you want a video on tips to get more views, maybe I'll do that if I can work out how you actually do that because I don't know how I do it, honestly. I don't have any idea. <laughs> Hope you liked the video. If you did, like it, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm gonna try and do some more vlogs, whether it be how-to videos or just stories or Q and A's or reacting to things. Might even do some gaming videos. I don't know. This is gonna be whatever I feel like doing. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok when I can work out how to use that properly. And, and yeah, let me know if this was useful or if it wasn't useful. I guess if it wasn't useful, I'll just do it again. <laughs> Bye!